all right guys welcome back today we are trying to upgrade this mini treadle hammer 1.0 to its 2.0 now we've got a couple of issues that uh a lot of you great guys uh guys and ladies have been pointing out in regards to power hammer travel and uh placing of the hammer and uh we're going to be able to handle deal with two of those uh, there's a couple of issues that popped up during the breaking in process which was a breaking in process things broke so what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to come in here and then i'm going to fix this pedal because a couple of the screws broke off there's only one screw holding that in in the middle i'm going to replace those with bolts and then i'm going to make the hardware more robust and then we're going to retire this two spring system for something that's going to be a lot more powerful. Alrighty, let's get started. Alright, I've got the pedal off. Now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to replace these screw holes with, we're going to drill them out quarter inch. Uh, I went to the local hardware store and I picked up these two and a half uh, by a quarter inch with wing nuts. I'm going to try wing nuts um, and with some washers. Guys, if you can, go to your local hardware store, mom and pop shop, shop from them first. The big boxes are great, but if the small boxes are still around, use them, all right? These are your neighbors. All right, so we're going to get these on. We're going to drill this out. And I'm probably going to shorten this a little bit because I want um, the play is a little higher. So I'm going to make it fit a little bit better. All right, I have it up in these two, two by fours here because of this uh, larger eyelet I put in here to hold the cable. All right, so let's get to work. I marked the three holes that correlate to the hinge that I have. I left it up there on the wall. All right, once you got that drilled out, you wanna do a nice dry fit to make sure that things actually fit in there. And look, I measured perfectly. Um, I have a little bit of room there on the thread, the smooth shank, uh, that goes over there. And I went with the wing nuts because, you know, why not? They're easy. So, there's gonna be a little bit of play on the back end here for the hinge so that's about you know i got plenty of room to work with here so this is good i have the hardware i need now what i'm going to do is i'm going to reattach it to the hinge that's attached to the wall Okay, that's nice and tight. All right, now that the pedal's connected, where well, we're gonna go from the two spring connection system, and I did make this a better eyelet, much stronger. We're gonna go from the two spring system that brought us to about here. Not a lot of room there. And what we're going to do is I just put another eyelet way up here. Okay. And what we're going to do is connect, instead of two springs, we're going to connect eight springs. All right. So let me do that right now. Eight trampoline springs. Oh, man. Spring is here, right? All right. Why eight, you ask? All right, each each particular trampoline spring stretches a little bit more. It stretches like a quarter to a third of its length. So I did the quick math of what I could fit and how much hammer travel that I can expect out of each. And you know what? This was the best case scenario without having to actually go outside the shop and attach it to another point. 
and there's where it sits. Now, it snugs right up to that spring, actually pulls it back a little bit. It's a lot of force here, and then we're gonna see if that translates the force at the striking plate. Okay, this is about where the old two spring setup put us. There, what about like, what is this, like six inches of clearance from the workpiece? Now, it goes all the way back as far as it can in line with the springs. All right, now what does that do for us? Look at this, look at this difference. There's like a good foot of place to work here. Now, obviously you can move this mounting piece here up a little higher if you want a hammer to strike at a certain, certain if you want it to be perpendicular at certain you know heights. Say if you're using a stamp, um, top end tools, uh, whatever it is, and you want it, the actual face of the hammer to be perpendicular to the surface, you just move this up. Simple as that. Now running it here with the foot pedal for just that a camera shot, you can see how immensely different it looks from version one. Version two, big improvements. Better uh, hammer travel, a lot more working uh, distance to the piece, and uh, it looks better personally. All right, that worked out pretty good. I'm really happy with that as a second try. A uh, lot more spring, a lot more travel, a lot more power. It was a little weird to work with at first. I gotta get used to the pedal play, and uh, but really it improved 100%. So you guys, your ideas were great and spot on. Keep them coming. Uh, hopefully there'll be a version three that's even more awesome. Something we haven't even thought about yet. But uh, hit like, subscribe, and uh, see you soon. Thanks. Thank you.